Hello, and thank you for joining on this, the first Sunday of Epiphany, January 9th, 2022. I'm Mike Hamilton, the chaplain here at the Virginia Home, and unfortunately, we are not able to gather in person here, but we can still worship as we did for much of 2020 and 2021 with the help of technology and social media. I appreciate you joining us, whether you're one of our residents or staff members here at the Virginia Home, um, or if you're a member of our community, thank you for being here with us. While this is the first Sunday of Epiphany, the readings for today come from the day of Epiphany, which was this past Thursday, January 6. Let's begin our worship with our traditional call to worship that we will say together and sing together. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Amen. Let's pray together. O God of light and peace, whose glory shining in the child of Bethlehem still draws the nations to yourself. Dispel the darkness that shrouds our path, that we may come to kneel before Christ in true worship. Offer him our hearts and souls, and return from his presence to live as he has taught. And Lord, even though we are separated physically, we come together praying the prayer you taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now a scripture reading from Isaiah. We will be reading from Isaiah chapter 60, verses 1 through 6. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For darkness shall cover the earth, and thick darkness the peoples. But the Lord will, ri will arise upon you, and his glory will appear over you. Nation shall come to your light and kings to the brightness of your dawn. Lift up your eyes and look around. They all gather together. They come to you. Your sons shall come from far away, and your daughters shall be carried on their nurses' arms. Then you shall see and be radiant. Your heart shall thrill and rejoice, because the abundance of the sea shall be brought to you. The wealth of the nations shall come to you. A multitude of camels shall cover you, the young camels of Midian and Ephah. All those from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and frankincense and shall proclaim the praise of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Morning has broken like the first morning. That bird has spoken like the first bird. Praise for the singing. Praise for the morning. Praise for them springing fresh from the The rains new fall, sunlit from heaven, like the first dew fall on the first grass. Praise for the sweetness of the wet garden, sprung in completeness where his feet pass. 
Mine is the sunlight, mine is the morning, born of the one light, even so Praise with elation, praise every morning, God's recreation of the new day. A reading from Paul's letter to the Ephesians, from chapter 3, verses 1 through 12. This is the reason that I, Paul, am a prisoner for Christ Jesus, for the sake of you Gentiles. For you surely have already heard of the commission of God's grace that was given me for you, and how the mystery was made known to me by revelation, as I wrote above in a few words a reading of which will enable you to perceive my understanding of the mystery of Christ. In former generations, this mystery was not made known to humankind, as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. That is, the Gentiles have become fellow heirs, members of the same body, and sharers in the promised in Christ Jesus through the gospel. Of this gospel I have become a servant, according to the gift of God's grace that was given me by the working of his power. Although I am the very least of all the saints, this grace was given to me to bring to the Gentiles the news of the boundless riches of Christ, and to make everyone see what is the plan of mystery hidden for ages in God who created all things so that through the church the wisdom of God in its rich variety might now be made known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly places. This was in accordance with the eternal purpose that he has carried out in Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we have access to God in boldness and confidence through faith in him. This also is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Come, O long expected Jesus. Come, O long expected Jesus, born to set your people free. From our fears and sins, release us, Christ, in whom our rest shall be. You are strength and consolation. Come, salvation to impart the desire of every nation, joy of many a longing heart. Born your people to deliver, born a child and yet a king, born to reign in us forever born your gracious realm to bring by your own eternal spirit rule in all our hearts alone by your all sufficient merit praise us to your glorious And now prayers of the people. Let us pray together. God of revelation, as we gather in praise for the gracious mystery of your son, we remember the many needs of your church and your world. Lord, as COVID rages in our community and around the world again, we continue to pray for an end to this pandemic. As we begin another year with restrictions to help slow the spread of this virus and keep everyone well and safe, we pray for a renewed sense of your presence with us and around us. Help those who must isolate from others for their safety and the safety of others. Be aware of not only your presence, but the love and care from their family and friends. Keep us connected to each other even when we must keep our distance. Even as the wise ones who sought Jesus when he was born found another way home in order to be safe, guide us as we find safe ways each day. 
help us to continue to look to you. You are our light and our salvation. Remind us of your love for us and our love for each other. And if there are prayers you would like to add, you can do so now, knowing that God hears us whenever and wherever we pray. Guide us on the path of salvation, O God, that the radiance and power of your Holy Spirit working in the world will gather together all peoples and nations in one community to offer you worship and proclaim your splendor. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is, who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that, had, that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Epiphany, the celebration of the coming of the Magi, or wise men, to worship the young Jesus and bring him gifts fit for a king. Scripture tells us these men saw a star that told them of the birth of a king in Israel and came to worship him. They probably came from an area in what is now Iran or Iraq. Matthew does not tell us how many there were and does not call them kings, but magi or wise men. This birth was troubling news to King Herod, but would be good news to all the people of the world. According to Merriam-Webster Dictionary, Epiphany also means a moment in which you suddenly see or understand something in a new or very clear way. This is a season to help us to be open to God revealing God's self to us in new and unexpected ways. Often God presents these to us in many ways. Sometimes we may be looking the other way or focused on something else. This Epiphany season May we all be more open to new and exciting ways of God working in our lives and in the world around us. We three kings of Orient are Bearing gifts we traverse afar Field and fountain, moor and mountain Following under star, oh, star of wonder, star of light, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. Born a king on Bethlehem's plain, Gold I bring to crown him a 
again. King forever, ceasing never over us all to reign. Oh, star of wonder, star of light, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. Frankincense to offer have I, incense owns a deity nigh. Prayer and praising, voices raising, worshiping God on high. Oh, star of wonder, star of light, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding. Guide us to thy perfect light. Myrrh is mine, its bitter perfume. Breathes a life of gathering bloom. Sorrow sighs, sighing, bleeding, dying, sealed in the stone cold tomb. Oh, star of wonder, star of light. Star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. Glorious now, behold him arise, King and God and sacrifice. Alleluia, alleluia, sounds through the earth and sky. Star of wonder, star of light, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. Now hear the benediction. Bright morning star, your light has come, and the birth of Jesus has overwhelmed us with joy. Like the Magi of long ago, may we be drawn to you and offer you such gifts as we are able. Amen. Thank you for joining us with this worship here from the Virginia home, whenever or wherever you may join. Now go in peace and open to the unexpected light of God's love.